two hours. And it's just finished a successful run at the Royal Court Theatre in London. Since we're short of staff, we sent a bit of a prat on to interrogate this budding young genius. Sean, your play, William, has been a great success. How do you find the first months of fame? Um, well, I'm enjoying them immensely. Mm -hmm. It's just really, really exciting. Fame is very important to you, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, as I don't want to die and be no one. Mm -hmm. You see me meaning. I do indeed. Uh, yes. Fame as a playwright or an actor, was it always a juggle? Well, I don't know. I've always considered myself wanting to be an actor, presenter, something like that. Mm -hmm. But I've always been writing since I was sort of very, very young. And mm -hmm. it's strange that this place took off because it's something that I just didn't really expect. Did you not see yourself in the leading role? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, the Royal, it was done at the Royal Court in London. Mm -hmm. And the, the person who played William was just absolutely brilliant. He mm -hmm. really was. He'd done it really well. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's something... I would love to do play. So the William. chance wasn't there really for you to do Well, that no, anymore. because mm -hmm. um, I'm not an equity member, I'm not a professional actor, mm -hmm. even though I have been acting for a long time. So at the Royal Court, the only actors they could use were equity members. Mm -hmm. So I was the writer. <laughs> well, how do you generally feel about the modern view of uh, Liverpool as portrayed by Brookside, Bread and Help? And... Well, I, I like the portrayal put by Brookside. I just mm -hmm. adore Brookside, love it. Mm -hmm. Bread, I mean... Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's... Don't you find that with, with bread, it's it, more or less the punchline is the fact that the people are from Liverpool? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. I mean, I, I personally don't find them scripts very funny. Mm. I don't know. Would you like to write scripts for programmes like Brookside? Yeah, it's, mm. um, it's not something I've really thought a great deal about. Mm -hmm. But I think it's something I, I would like to do, yeah. Because mm. with Brookside, I mean, mm. I love it so much. I know the characters so mm. well. I mean, I could easily do it. Yes. Mm. Do you think of any strong storylines or changes that you'd have in the programme? Um, I'd probably write myself in. Well, definitely, definitely. <laughs> the first thing I'd do. I'm, I'm sure you would. And music has had a great influence on you, hasn't it? Yes, it certainly mm -hmm. has. Mm -hmm. And any particular types of music, or is it just generally pop music, the chart? No, it's the Smiths. Mm -hmm. They're my main influence, mm -hmm. yes. And, I mean, my play William is based on the Smith song, yes. William, it was really nothing. Mm -hmm. so. Is the play going around the country? Mm, not. I mean, there's lots of talks and possibilities. It's finished at the Royal Court on mm. November the 8th. Yes. It's getting done by the Buster Young People's Theatre, which is a professional theatre company in London. Mm -hmm. but I, I'm not sure. I think that's February, March, April. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And that's tour in London. There might be a tour in Liverpool. It's getting yes. discussed. I'm not sure. And also lots of other possibilities. Which... The spine of the story in the play really is dissatisfaction with family life. Yes. And the leading character, his family, can't really offer him anything. No, they certainly can't. And it seems that when the family is introduced in any way, it's quite negative. They're pulling him back and it's mm. guilt and it's uh, slight depression. Is this uh, your own painful experience? Uh, not really, no. I mean, mm. I think similar aspects are in the play. But, I mean, not completely. Mm -hmm. If they were, my mum would kill me. Mm. <laughs> if but I said But you that. do have a similar background. Mm, maybe, maybe. I mean, the way it was done at the Royal Court, which is the way my mum and dad seen it, mm. was done a totally comical way. It was done really funnily. Mm. I mean, it could, it could be done a lot serious, and if it was done the more serious way, maybe, yes. Is it Norris Green life, really, in that play? Where well, you come from? at first, when I first wrote the play, I was a bit worried. I thought, if I say it's set in Liverpool, it might put them off. Mm -hmm. So I didn't say it's set anywhere. I just sent the script in. And then they were quite happy to say it's set in Liverpool, mm. Norris Green. <laughs> Jolly good, Sean. And can I ask you a question, Roy? Yes. What have the Smiths been doing recently? The very standard group things. We've been in the studio and we've mm. recorded a new single, which is released almost immediately, called Shoplifters of the World Unite. Goodness, Shoplifters of the World Unite. Mm. Have you ever shoplifted? <laughs> I must, I'm ashamed to say that I haven't. It might be oh. quite interesting. I might try it one day. But right. really, I don't literally mean, you know, picking up a loaf of bread or, mm. you know, a watch and sticking it in your coat yeah. pocket. It's more or less spiritual shoplifting and mm. cultural shoplifting and taking things and, you know, using them to your own advantage.